Hello, and welcome to the 47th episode of Scripture in a Year, hosted by Saints Peter and Paul Orthodox Church in the Albanian Archdiocese of the OCA. Today's reading is Deuteronomy chapters 30 through 34. <clears throat> now it shall be, when all these things come upon you, the blessings and the curse which I set before you, and you will reflect in your heart among all the nations where the Lord your God scatters you, and you shall return to the Lord your God and obey his voice from your whole heart and from your whole soul, according to all I command you today, that the Lord will heal your sins, have mercy on you, and gather you again from all the nations where the Lord your God scattered you. If any of you are scattered from one end of heaven to the other end, from there the Lord your God will gather you, and from there the Lord your God will bring you. Then the Lord your God will bring you to the land your fathers inherited, and you shall have it as an inheritance. He will prosper and multiply you more than your fathers. The Lord your God will purify your heart and the heart of your seed to love the Lord your God from your whole heart and from your whole soul that you may live. Also the Lord your God will put all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate you, who persecuted you. As for you, you will once again obey the voice of the Lord your God and do his commandments, whatever I command you today. The Lord your God will take great care of you in all the work of your hands, in the offspring of your womb, in the produce of your land, and in the offspring of your cattle. For the Lord will again rejoice over you for good, as he rejoiced over your fathers, if you obey the voice of the Lord your God, to keep and do all his commandments, ordinances, and judgments written in this book of the law. And if you return to the Lord your God from your whole heart and from your whole soul. For this commandment I command you today is not too burdensome for you, nor is it far off. It is not in heaven above that you should say, Who will ascend into heaven for us and bring it to us, that we may hear and do it? Nor is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will go over the sea for us and bring it to us, that we may hear and do it? But the word is very near you, in your mouth, in your heart, and in your hands, that you may do it. See, I set before you today life and death, good and evil. If you hear the commandments of the Lord your God, I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his ordinances and judgments, then you shall live and multiply, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you go to inherit. But if your heart turns away, and you do not hear, but go astray and worship different gods and serve them, I announce to you today you shall surely perish. You shall not prolong your days in the land the Lord your God is giving you, and to which you are crossing over the Jordan to inherit. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you. I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both you and your seed may live, and love the Lord your God, obey his voice, and cling to him. For this is your life and the length of your days, that you may dwell in the land the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give them. Now Moses finished speaking these words to the children of Israel. Then he said to them, I am one hundred and twenty years old today. I can no longer go out and come in. Also the Lord said to me, You shall not cross over this Jordan. The Lord your God himself crosses over before you. He will destroy these nations from before you, and you shall dispossess them. Joshua himself is also crossing over before you, as the Lord said. Then the Lord will do to them as he did to Sihon and Og, the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan in their land, when he destroyed them. The Lord gave them over to you, and you will do to them as I commanded you. Be vigilant and strong, do not fear or be afraid of them, nor be terrified before them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes before you, and with you and among you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Then Moses called Joshua and said to him before all Israel, Be valiant and strong, for you must go before this people to the land your God swore to their fathers to give them, and you shall cause them to inherit it. But the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid nor be terrified. So Moses wrote the words of this law in a book and delivered it to the priests, to the sons of Levi who carried the ark of the Lord's covenant, and to the elders of the sons of Israel. 
Then Moses commanded them on that day, saying, At the end of every seven years, at the appointed time, in the year of remission, at the Feast of Tabernacles, when all Israel comes to appear before the Lord your God in the place the Lord chooses, you shall read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Gather the people together, men and women and offspring, and the resident alien within your cities, so they may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God, and may hear and do all the words of this law. And their sons who have not known it may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as they live in the land you cross over the Jordan to inherit. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, the day of your death is near. Call Joshua and stand at the doors of the tabernacle of testimony, and I shall give him my commandments. So Moses and Joshua went to the tabernacle of testimony and stood at the doors of the tabernacle of testimony. Now the Lord came down in a cloud and stood at the doors of the tabernacle of testimony, and the pillar of cloud stood at the doors of the tabernacle. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, you will sleep with your fathers, and this people will rise and commit fornication with gods of foreigners of the land where they go to be among them, and they will forsake me and break my covenant I made with them. Then I shall be aroused in anger against them in that day, and I will forsake them and turn my face from them. So he shall be a prey, and many evils and troubles shall find him. And he will say in that day, These evils found me because the Lord my God is not with me. So I will surely turn my face from them in that day because of all the evil they did, and because they turned to foreign gods. Now therefore, write the words of this ode and teach it to the children of Israel, and put it in their mouths, that this song may be a testimony for me among the children of Israel. For I shall bring them to this good land I swore to their fathers to give them, a land flowing with milk and honey, and they shall eat and be satisfied. Then they will turn to foreign gods and serve them. They will provoke me and break my covenant. Then this ode will rise up and testify against them, for it will not be forgotten from their mouth nor from the mouth of their seed, for I know the wickedness they do today even before I brought them to the land I swore to give them. Therefore Moses wrote this ode on that day, and taught it to the children of Israel. Then Moses commanded Joshua the son of Nun, and said, Be valiant and strong, for you shall bring the sons of Israel into the land the Lord swore to them, and he shall be with you. So it was when Moses completed writing all the words of this law in a book, and when they were finished, he commanded the Levites who carry the ark of the covenant of the Lord, saying, Take the book of this law and put it beside the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and it shall be there as a testimony against you. For I know your rebellion and stiff neck. For if, while I am yet alive with you today, you have been rebellious against God, and how much more after my death? Gather to me your chiefs, your elders, your judges, your teachers, that I may speak these words in their hearing, and call heaven and earth to testify against them. For I know that after my death you will become utterly lawless, and turn aside from the way I commanded you. Then evil shall befall you in the latter days, because you will do evil before the Lord, to provoke him to anger through the works of your hands. So Moses spoke in the hearing of all the assembly of Israel the words of this ode, until they were ended. Take heed, O heaven, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. Let my proverbial saying be awaited as the rain, and let my words come down as raindrops on the wild grass, and as snowfall on the sown grass. For I invoke the Lord's name, ascribe greatness to our God. He is God, his works are true, and all his ways are judgment. A faithful God, and without injustice, righteous and holy is the Lord. They sinned, the blameworthy children are not his, a generation twisted and perverse. Is this how you repay the Lord, O foolish and unwise people? Is he not your father who acquired you? Has he not made and created you? Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and he will tell you, your elders, and they will tell you, when the Most High divided the nations, when he scattered the sons of Adam, he set the boundaries of the nations by the number of God's angels. For the Lord's portion became the people of Jacob, the allotment of his inheritance is Israel. He provided for him in the desert, in thirst of heat in a waterless place, he encircled him, he instructed him, he guarded him carefully as the apple of his eye. As an eagle covers its nest, yearns after its young, spreading out its wings, taking them up, carrying them on its back. So the Lord alone fed them. 
and there was no foreign god with them. He raised them on the strength of the land. He fed them on the produce of the fields. He suckled them on honey from the rock and oil from the solid rock. Butter of oxen and milk of sheep with fat of lambs and goats, of sons of bulls and goats, with the choicest wheat, and you drank wine, the blood of grapes. So Jacob ate and was filled, and the beloved kicked. He grew fat, he grew thick, he is obese. Then he forsook God who made him, and stood back from God his Savior. They provoked me to wrath against foreign gods. With their abominations they embittered me. They sacrificed to demons and not to God, to gods they did not know. New ones, recent gods, arrived, which their fathers did not know. You abandoned the God who begot you, and forgot the God who nourished you. So the Lord saw it and was jealous, and he was provoked to anger by his sons and daughters. Then he said, I will turn my face from them, and I will make known what their end will be. For they are a perverse generation, sons in whom there is no faith. They provoked me to jealousy by what is not God. They moved me to anger by their idols, but I will provoke them to jealousy by those who are not a nation. I will move them to anger by a foolish nation. For fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn to the lowest Hades. It shall consume the land with its produce and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will gather evils on them. I will spend my arrows on them. They shall be wasted with hunger, devoured by birds of an incurable disease. I will also send against them the teeth of wild animals, with the anger of things crawling on the earth. The sword shall make them childless outside, and fear from the inner chambers. For the young man and virgin, the nursing child with the elders of gray hairs, I said, I will scatter them, I will make their memory cease from among the men. But for the wrath of the enemy, lest they live long, lest their adversary make a joint attack, lest they should say, Our hand is high, and it is not the Lord who did all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, nor is there understanding in them. They were not wise to understand these things. Let them be concerned for the coming time. How could one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight unless God had sold them? And the Lord delivered them up. For our God is not like their gods, but our enemies are foolish, for their vineyard is the vineyard of Sodom, and their vine is of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall, and their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the wrath of serpents, and the incurable wrath of asps. Behold, this is not laid up in store with me, sealed up among my... <clears throat> Behold, is this not laid up in store with me, sealed up among my treasures? I shall repay on the day of vengeance, in time when their foot shall slip, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and is waiting, ready for them. For the Lord will judge his people, and have compassion on his servants, for he sees them disabled, and left in distress, and weakened. The Lord said, Where are their gods in which they trusted, who ate the fat of their sacrifice, and drank the wine of their drink offerings? Let them rise and help you, and be your defender." Now see I, even I am he, and there is no God besides me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, nor is there any who can deliver from my hands. For I raise my hand to heaven, and I swear by my right hand, and say, As I live forever, for I wet my sword like lightning, and my hand takes hold on judgment. I will render vengeance on my enemies, and repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk from blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, from the blood of the slain and from the captives, from the heads of the leaders of the enemy. Rejoice, O heavens, together with him, and worship him, all the sons of God. Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people, and let all the angels of God be strong with him. For he will avenge the blood of his sons, and render vengeance to his adversaries, and the Lord will purify his people's land. So Moses wrote this ode on that day and taught it to the children of Israel. Then Moses came with Joshua, the son of Nun, and spoke all the words of this law in the hearing of the people. Now Moses finished speaking to all Israel, and he said to them, Take heed in your hearts to all these words I testify among you today, which you shall command your sons to be careful to do. 
all the words of this law, for it is not an empty word for you, because it is your life. And because of this word, you shall prolong your days in the land which you are crossing over the Jordan to inherit. Then the Lord spoke to Moses on that day, saying, Go up this mountain of Abarim, Mount Nebo, and the land of Moab, across from Jericho. View the land of Canaan, which I gave to the children of Israel as a possession, and die on the mountain you ascend, and be added to your people, as Aaron your brother died on Mount Hor, and was added to his people. Because you disobeyed my word among the children of Israel during the water of contention at Kadesh in the desert of Sin, and because you did not sanctify me in the midst of the children of Israel, yet you shall see the land at a distance, though you shall not go there. Now this is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the sons of Israel before his death. Thus he said, The Lord came down from Sinai and appeared to us from Seir. He hastened from Mount Paran, along with myriads at Kadesh, angels with him at his right hand, and he spared his people and all the sanctified ones under your hands. And these are under you, and received the law from his words, which Moses commanded us, a heritage of the congregations of Jacob. And there shall be a ruler among the beloved people when the rulers of the people are gathered together with the tribes of Israel. Let Reuben live and not die, and let him be many in number. Thus this he said of Judah, Hear, O Lord, the voice of Judah, and let him visit his people. His hands will judge for him, and may you be a help against his enemies. To Levi he said, Give to Levi the holy man his Urim and Thummim, to him whom they tested with testing, whom they reviled at the water of contention, who says to his father and mother, I have not seen you, nor did he know his brothers or his own children. They guarded your oracles and kept your covenant. They shall manifest your judgments to Jacob and your law to Israel. They shall lay incense when you are angry continually on your altar. Bless his strength, O Lord, and accept the works of his hands. Bring down the loins of those who rise against him and of those who hate him, so they shall not rise again. To Benjamin he said, Beloved by the Lord, he shall dwell in hope, and God shall overshadow him all his days. And he rested between his shoulders. To Joseph he said, Blessed of the Lord is his land, of the seasons of heaven, of the dew, and of the deep springs lying beneath. In due season of the produce of the solar cycle, and in the conjunction of the months, both from the top of the ancient mountains and from the top of the everlasting hills, and in due season of, of the fullness of the land, and the things acceptable to the one revealed in the bush. May these things come upon the head of Joseph, and on the crown of the one glorified among his brothers. His beauty is like the firstborn of a bull, and his horns like the horns of the unicorn. With him they will agore nations together, even to the ends of the earth. They are the ten thousands of Ephraim, they are the thousands of Manasseh. To Zebulun he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in your going out, and Issachar in his tents. They shall annihilate nations, and there you will call upon the Lord and sacrifice sacrifice of righteousness. For the wealth of the sea shall suckle you, and the trade of those dwelling by the sea. To Gad he said, Blessed is he who enlarges Gad. He rested as a lion and crushed the arm and the head. He saw his first fruit, because the land of the rulers was a portioned there. When the rulers were gathered together with the rulers of his people, the Lord administered righteousness and his judgments with Israel. To Dan he said, Dan is a lion's cub, and he shall leap from Bashan. To Naphtali he said, Naphtali is, has an abundance of acceptable things, and let him be full of blessing from the Lord. He shall inherit the sea in the north. To Asher he said, Blessed is Asher beyond sons, and let him be acceptable to his brothers. He shall dip his foot in olive oil, his sandals shall be iron and bronze, and as your days, so shall your strength be. There is no one like the God of the Beloved, who rides upon the heaven and who is your help, and the Magnificent One of the firmament, and the protection of the rule of God, and who is under the strength of the everlasting arms, he will cast out the enemy from before your face, saying, Destroy. 
Then Israel shall dwell in hope, alone in the land of Jacob, with grain and wine, and heaven is cloudy with dew for him. Blessed are you, O Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord. Your helper will defend you as with a shield, and the sword shall be your boast. Your enemies shall speak falsely to you, and you shall tread on their neck. Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead as far as Dan, and all the land of Naphtali, and all the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah as far as the western sea, and the desert and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees as far as Zoar. Then the Lord said to Moses, This is the land I swore to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your seed. I show it to your eyes, but you shall not go in there. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab by the word of the Lord. Then he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab opposite Beth Peor. But no one knows his grave to this day. Moses was one hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eyes were not dim, nor his natural vigor diminished. Then the sons of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab at the Jordan near Jericho thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses ended. Now Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of understanding, for Moses had laid his hands on him. So the sons of Israel heeded him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Now there has not arisen in Israel a prophet like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, in all the signs and wonders the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt before Pharaoh, before all his servants, and in all his land. And by all those great wonders and the mighty hand which Moses performed in the sight of all Israel. Here ends the reading for today.